What's going on guys? It is Bergs back here with you once again. Today we have got a Longhorn Long Cut Wintergreen and before we go any further, the presentation. So, um, on the front, you've got the Longhorn Long Cut Wintergreen, the green on just that part. Um, and around the side, barcode, 1.2 ounces, longhornsnuff.com, warning label, Pinkerton Tobacco Company LP, Owensboro, Kentucky, at least 50% U.S. grown. A lot of people wonder about the warning label because it's uh, non-traditional. I was checking it out on the uh, FDA's website. It has to cover 30%. Uh, so... If you look at next to general, you see that Longhorn just comes up higher instead of, you know, being in this area. So a regular warning label would like fill up around there. So they, that's how they managed to do something a little bit different. And of course, it's on the side instead of on the bottom. Our code is A266D1124. So that would be January 26th, 2016 is the expiration date. I've had this a little while, okay? I've had it um, probably as long as that Timberwolf Peach, maybe a little less. Um, but yeah, uh, it's currently Sunday morning. I'll get you a weather report here. I was just out and it is freezing. Uh, weather Channel says it is 8 degrees currently and it feels like negative 4. Um, it's kind of windy out. Uh, I think the overnight low was negative two. Yeah, not too pleasant. Um, high today is 19 and the low tonight is seven. Okay, so here's our Longhorn. Not too much left. I wanted to save the rest. Um, scent. Okay, it smells better than Derringer. Not extremely great. There's a sweet, life-savory wintergreen buried in there, but there's an artificial taste on top of that. There's uh, a shitty tobacco scent, like in a bad way on that. Um, and the cut is not fantastic. Um, the longer cut portions that are in there are decent, but it's mixed with a lot of fine cut, it seems, as well. So... See if we kill this. All right, there might be one more. Might as well finish it up. Even though it's like basically two pinches. Maybe three. All right. So there's a little bit of crumbs left, but being that it's Longhorn, I don't really care. <laughs> um, so I should have got the list out. Let's see. All right. Packability and pitchability, it's honestly not that bad. Um, it seems to have the reputation of being shithorn and all this stuff. Uh, I can tell you that, personally, I think Kayak is what packs worse. I think Derringer packs worse. Um, I guess that's really about all that comes to mind, but... Um, it stays together decent. Uh, it does float, but not nearly as bad as those. Um, yeah, there's not too much of a story here. The little place in town had it. Uh, 
paid two dollars even which is definitely more than for longhorn than i would expect to pay but i went in there yeah maybe it was longer than i had timberwolf peach then i, I can't exactly remember but uh yeah a lot of times you'll find it 99 cents uh just this particular place maybe they didn't sell a lot of longhorn or whatever and that's the price it was uh but anyway, it's a budget dip. My experience though, this is the first can of long cut wintergreen longhorn that I've had. I've had the wintergreen pouches and I had the straight pouches, I think. Um, throw back to like 2013, 2014. Uh, back when I worked at the gas station, we had a guy that would come in, he would buy a log, a longhorn, long cut wintergreen every morning. So I didn't always see him because I was in school and things, so I often worked afternoons. But when I'd be there on the weekend, I'd be thinking to myself, why does he buy longhorn, a log of it a day? But, and, and, and the other fact of it was we weren't that great on the price on Longhorn there. So that always wondered, you know, it made me wonder. And I never wanted to try it because I heard so many bad things. So I tried the pouches and the pouches are not bad, really. The wintergreen pouches are not bad at all. Um, but I will tell you that the long cut tastes a little bit different than them. Um, so that's my experience with Longhorn. I really haven't tried a whole lot of Longhorn. Um, Price I talked about nicotine, ooh, low to medium. Uh, it's giving me a buzz now. It's in the morning on Sunday, uh, and I haven't dipped today. Just had some coffee, drinking coffee at the moment. But uh, yeah, so I'm getting a little bit texture and burn. Uh, texture is so so. It is starting to float a little bit because I did put a decent lip in. Um, you know, dip will float if you put hardly any in or if you put too much in, it seems, uh, especially with something like this. When I would pack like average size, this is a little, it's, you can see it's all the way up here and all the way back there now. Um, it's more like a cheek at this point, but when I had an average sized in it doesn't float so bad burn it does burn it's wintergreen it's you know it's been burning a little bit um, it's not too bad but it does burn now the taste it's not very great um, it's not awful but it, there's a lot of tobacco taste to it um, not good tobacco taste there's a wintergreen taste, kind of, kind of sweet, but the the nasty taste kind of balances it out or whatever. Not really balances it out, but takes away from it, I guess, is a better way to say it. Um, in the pouches, you don't really taste that so much. You taste more wintergreen, which is why I like them better. And the aftertaste just kind of nasty what I'm tasting now. Um, yeah, now it's floating good. Uh, so, it's not the best cheap dip. Not the worst. I don't know if it deserves to be called shithorn all the time, but... So, we'll not be buying this again. Uh... Let's do our shout outs. We have full review of the Georgia Dipper, Stoker's Dipper, Peach Pride Dippers, Yee Dipper, Outcast, Outcasted Redemption 1, Cope Dipper 137, The Dip Doctor, The Dipper 19. Man, I guess that's all we'll do today. Uh, rating out of 10, I give it a 5.5 out of 10. Not the worst, not the best. Uh, not buying it again, like I said. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.